traditional dance in the Bolivian Andes is called Huayno. But this is not a traditional song. It was written by the people of Chuchini themselves. It's a hymn of praise to the water harvest. They sing about their new atajados, or rainwater retention basins. This song expresses our joy and gratitude for the new atajados. Now we can collect rainwater, and by harvesting water, we can grow more on our fields. German and Swedish aid helped pay for seven atajados for this village, which sits at an altitude of 4,000 meters. At the end of the rainy season, the reservoirs hold some 1,200 cubic meters of water. This atajado is essential for survival for Thomas Pieco and his family. The dry season is going to begin soon, and then the atajado will be our principal source of water. Even if it hardly rains after that, I can still grow some vegetables and provide my animals with water. Llamas secure the Pieco family an income but they also have oxen to help with the work. The atajado stores just enough water to irrigate a small vegetable and potato patch. Climate change has hit the people of Chuchini especially hard. The Andean glaciers are their main source of drinking water, and many of them are melting away. Like many other springs in the Andes, this one will dry up in the winter months. Hundreds of Bolivian highland villages are endangered. Our grandparents could rely on the weather and the seasons, but that's no longer possible. We no longer know the best time for planting. The rainy seasons and the cold periods aren't what they used to be. Climate change is threatening our food supply. The biggest problem is that the rainy season is shorter than it used to be. The same amount of precipitation that used to fall over the course of six months now falls in just three. The water from these sudden downpours runs off without soaking into the ground. This is when the water can be harvested. Hans Joachim Picht is coordinating the construction of 370 rainwater retention basins in the Andes. During heavy rainfalls, up to 15 liters of water per second can flow into the reservoirs. What we see here is exactly what we want to achieve. The water that flows down from the small catchment area you see behind us is collected in this atajado. If it weren't, it would just run off and collect in the valley far below. There, the rivers would swell, and that could cause major damage. He sees some of this damage on his travels around the country. A sociologist, Picht has been working in the highlands of Norte Potosi for years. It's one of Bolivia's poorest regions. The potato harvest is looking good this year, but climate change has led to several crop failures in the past. At times, the potato farmers have actually had to buy potatoes, a disaster for the many families who barely scrape by as it is. Picht is going to see a farming family who have been having problems with their new atajado. The basin is losing water, even though it's been sealed a number of times with a special material. 
The farmer is worried. He has to be able to rely on the basin for his water supply. We're always learning. In the past, we just assumed that you'd dig a hole and the problem was solved. But that's not the case. We've been systematically collecting data on everything that can go wrong and coming up with proposals on how to avoid these mistakes. A reservoir like this can cost more than 4,500 euros. Picht hands over the last of his projects at Achados with a modest ceremony. From now on, he'll only act as an advisor, providing expertise. The Bolivian government will have to pay for the basin's maintenance. Now we'd like to hand this integral concept for the Atajados over to Bolivian institutions and convince them that it makes sense to continue building Atajados like these. Hans Joachim Picht is doing everything he can to make sure the message gets across. Villagers inaugurate another new basin with music and dancing. And it looks like a storm is brewing on the horizon. A good omen for this year's water harvest in the Bolivian highlands.